Okay, welcome back to the channel, Custom Garage Build Series. Today we're gonna to be building a cabinet that's gonna go above that cabinet up there uh, for extra storage. Um, it's gonna be trimmed out with a barnwood door and um, the inside I think I'm gonna paint gray. I'm not sure yet. The outside's already stained, so let's get started. Okay, we're gonna be using the Craig jig today. We've used in the past. And I've gone ahead and done the one end board, which will sit like this. I'll put a little glue on it. We'll get three screws on each side. That'll create the box. I'm not putting a back on it because the wall's painted up there. We don't need a back. We're gonna just keep it simple. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting this in the clamp, like so. You can see that, okay? No particular spot. I'm just making sure it's down at the bottom. You know, seat it all the way to the bottom. I'm taking the, the bit that comes with it with the dead stop in it. And we're gonna punch three holes in each side to anchor it. holes to use when you're randomly running them like this. I'm just trying to, oh that doesn't look too good. The ply was actually separated. Um, okay, well we're not building kitchen cabinets so I think we'll be okay. to go back and stain the edges. I didn't do the edges when I stained them up. I think it's a lot better staining the pre-staining the boards um, because you can get then you got everything get all to all the edges. You see how tight that got with just one screw.
over. Assembled. So then I know what I'm dealing with once I get up there on the wall. Let me uh, grab this camera for a minute more. I better look at this. Okay, so you can see here the inside of the cabinet, how we put a center brace in it. And we've kind of semi mounted the hinge for the lid just so I could see. What, um, what it was gonna look like when it closes, which is good. It's a little bit taller than the cabinet itself, which is okay, because you won't see that up there. Um, we'll go ahead and trim this end down. Put a couple of catches on each end, like I was saying. Maybe drop a chain from here to here, so when it opens up, the chain just drops down and supports it out here at the end. Um, in case I wanna slide stuff onto here and then jump up on a ladder and slide it into the cabinet and close the cabinet. And it's going to be up here above this cabinet so I'm going to have definitely be standing on a ladder to get to it. Um, so the next step will be to I think to go ahead and stain up the rest of this that um, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll stain up these two end boards here, and I think I'm going to paint the inside gray. That way it'll blend in when it's open against the wall. Um, once it's closed, it won't matter. Um, and that's about it for this, uh, this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll come back after we get the cabinet up top, get it painted. Then we'll go ahead and we'll mount the door up there with the rest of the hardware on it. I can show you what I've added. Maybe we'll put a couple black handles on it or maybe we'll do another CG on it. Let's see. We could do another one right dead center on that cabinet up above. That's kind of an opener. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Um, thanks again for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the bell notification and subscribe button and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.